Hi, I'm Tammy at Simply Set Free, and we are on day 11 of our two-week challenge to get rid of the clutter. Today, we're organizing the medicine cabinet. Now, you might be thinking, but you're in the kitchen. Why aren't you in the bathroom? Well, that's because we keep all of our medicines in the kitchen to avoid having the humidity damage them. So things like Tylenol and cold medicines, things like that, we keep here in the kitchen as well as things like Band-Aids. Okay, so let's just jump right in. I have two shelves in the kitchen that I utilize for cold medicines and band-aids, things like that. I attempted to organize this space a few years ago and some things are working well and others not so well. What's working well are having these baskets with band-aids and cold medicines and essential oils. That works fairly well. This shelf here gets out of hand. The problem with storing things in cabinets is that you have the problem of depth and whatever is in the back kind of gets lost and hard to reach. So that's the main issue I'm going to tackle today, but also I just want to go through and eliminate some expired medicines and things that we don't use anymore. First thing you want to do is remove everything from this space. This is going to give you a blank canvas from which you can figure out how to make it better when you put everything back. But standing here and trying to figure out, okay, what's a good solution for when I get this all organized? That's like putting the cart before the horse. I now have a clear space and I now have all of the medicines categorized. At this point, you want to pull out anything that's expired and anything that you no longer use. This is what I'm getting rid of today. It feels really good. Now it's time to put everything back, and you, but you need a good system. So think outside the box. Check Pinterest for ideas. Look around the house for containers that might work well in this space. Remember to go vertical, especially when you have a small space. If you have a tight budget, you can always make containers. For instance, take a cardboard box like this one, cut out one side, cover it with contact paper, and instantly you have a container you can use in this space. Now, if you do have the budget and you want to go out and buy containers, remember to first measure the space to make sure you have the dimensions before heading to the store. Okay, so I found some great containers at this big home superstore in our area, and I wanted to show you how I put this together. I did spend a little more money than I wanted to originally, but I feel like this is really going to solve some issues here, and uh, it's going to keep things organized. So here on the bottom shelf, I found this great three-tiered shelf that um, is great for every kind of more frequent use, things that we use a little bit more frequently, like Tylenol and Advil. Um, calamine lotion, things like that. And then here I have first aid in this container, band-aids, neosporin, hydrocortisone cream, um, the ice pack. Um, so that is going to work out well. And then on the second shelf on the left I have cold flu and allergy and on the right here I have essential oils. And I didn't really have a space for antacids but we hardly ever use those so those are in there too in the way back, but at least it's labeled. We know where they are now. I wanted to share one other quick idea with you that's especially helpful if you're a mom or a dad, but even if not, this can still be helpful. Um, this, I call it the Mom's Get Better book, and basically inside I've taken notes on uh, what's the difference between a cold and a flu? Um, what are some home remedies that I have used for the flu? Uh, what if the kids get a stomach virus? What do you do? And so it's just kind of a helpful reference to use when somebody in the family gets sick. So I'd highly recommend that. And I'm just going to store this right up here next to the cold flu and allergy bin and we're good to go. Thanks so much for joining me today. Tomorrow we'll be on day 12 of our 14 day challenge. We're almost there. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you tomorrow.